Well, good afternoon, and guess where we're headed, folks? Out onto the Trent and Mersey. Oh yeah, the Trent and the Trent and Mersey. You're for Trent, isn't it, first? So we've just turned onto the Upper Trent and uh, from our favourite canal. Stop going on about that error wash, will you? <laughs> anyway, and uh, behind us, the saws down there, which we came up where that boat's going. And that's the Trent. Yes, yeah, of Trent. The north. Off to Nottingham and Trent isn't it? and the North. The North. And uh, we're off ahead here, and as Linda said, it don't take much of a turning circle to turn in here. <laughs> we are not used to this, are we? This is lovely. So, I'm looking forward to this. Well, after the last weed... Um, well, let's put it this way, I can't see the bottom. I can't see it's getting stuck in weed here. No. So there we go. The Upper Trent, another new canal, well, river, which um, then goes into a new canal, the so, Trent and Mersey. So this is the Trent of the Trent and Mersey, and then we're going to follow that through to Litchfield, aren't we? Burton on Trent. Burton on Trent first, I think, is the big one. Yeah. Anyway. Oh no, Aston upon Trent. There we go, that's a little village of Aston on Trent, don't we, Linda? What's yeah. special about that? Oh, I used to live there, that was my very first flat. That must be what, 40, 45 years ago? <coughs> Don't be so horrid, it was a little while ago, that's all you need to know. So it wasn't that blooming long ago, you cheeky brass monkey. I'm not a good at maths, he says. Um, yeah, whenever it was, a long time ago, and we're going to bother, because it's a bit of a late start, we're going to um, probably moor very close by, so maybe we'll walk up to your old village and have a pint in your old local, if it's still there. It's such a very big village, or it wasn't anyway. So it starts to narrow down behind us there. I'm not sure if this panorama will work because uh, the camera's been a bit whited out by the light. And uh, it's our first lock. Facilities on the right, sorely lock on the left. So I presume that's the one we want. Oh yeah, there's a dead end ahead look on the facilities. Not sure if the camera shows it's a long way away. And there's a lock keeper on duty. And look, Linda, at the lock gates. Excellent. So we're approaching Sawley Locks and there's two lock keepers on. The lock gates are open as we get there. This is very civilised. They are electronically operated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's tied us up. Linda's holding this rope here. And we are ready to go. Here comes the water. So Linda's having a break from her normal duties. What's going on, Linda? I wanted to press the button. So we're out to our first lock. And uh, although this is a really big, wonderful, wide river, he just told us there is a lock problem later on. The third lock, the western lock. A bit like the one we had on the arrow wash where well, the it, upon trend. it won't undo because you can't empty it. But um, we'll have to find a way, won't we? So big marina behind, Sawley Marina, and um, loads of action around there. It's quite busy, nice. Very busy. And we're now heading through Sawley Floodlock when it all quiets down again. I'll twiddle the camera around and show you. Ooh. And here we are. Sorely flood lock, so we haven't got to do anything, it's all open. Because there's no floods. Still a lock. And um, it's sort of a lot narrower than what we were on before and looks um, more familiar. the other side of that little bridge. We're still on the upper Trent, aren't we? We're not, still on the... Uh, not on the Trent and Mersey yet. Sorely flood lock. 
when we come to the Derwent mouth, then that's when we go on to the Trenton Mersey, I believe. Oh, okay, well, no doubt, no, no. But yeah, excellent. Well, that's more like a canal, a big canal. A bit different to what we're used to. Parts of a Lea like this, aren't they, Linda? Still no mooring. Well, no. So, um, yeah, it's back to being a huge river again. Just it's so weird. We're just not used to this. And um, just crossed uh, under, crossed under, just went under the M1 back there. Gives you some idea of how wide it is, perhaps. But I think it's wider ahead. So yeah, it's really wide and going under a big pipe bridge. So that's the river tread off to the left, which was kind of on, straight on. You can probably see the side, Trenton Mersey Canal. And that's the Derwent. And that's the River Derwent down there. So there's quite a lot of water in this area. So yeah, interesting. Soon you'll be back on a proper canal. Yeah, back on a, a proper canal. As soon as we're on this little bit here. But yeah, that was uh, interesting. Pretty wide. I think I've said that. So our first lock on the Trenton Mersey. This is the Derwent Mouth Lock. Because we've just gone past the mouth of the Derwent. So uh, I'm not sure if that boat there is just moored up or whether he's using the lock. I can't see any bloody at the lock doing any work, so might just be temporarily moored there. There's certainly not a problem with uh, lock moorings, there's plenty of space. So that's our first day on the Trent and Linda. Oh, it's lovely actually, I really enjoyed it. The scenery is delightful and we've moored just before Aston Lock. And where do you usually live? Aston on Trent. So I think we might go a little walk tonight. Well. I don't see why not. So that's Aston um, Lock and it's, uh, I'll, I'll twiddle the camera around a bit and show you. But we've it had a lovely, lovely time and I think it was a pub in Aston, isn't it? Might be. I think uh, we're going to have a little walk down in just a moment. I'll just twiddle the camera around and show you where we are because it's so beautiful. Are you ready? Ooh. And uh, here's, oh, there's an airplane going over now. That's East, yeah, that's from East Midlands Airport. It's Donington, isn't it? Yep. As you can see, nice scenery. Lock straight in front, so that's the easy thing to do tomorrow. And there you go. Lovely morning. Right. We'll get off. Enjoy ourselves. Linda makes some notes of the day, the hours and the locks. And then uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. Morning, folks. Well, what a nice morning it is today. Blue sky, sunshine. Had a nice lazy morning this morning. Had a bit of a lion. Had a lovely night last night in the pub, Linda's old local, yeah. when she lived here 40 years ago. Will you stop saying that? 30 years ago. Even that? <laughs> We've married 37 and I never lived there. Anyway, um, lovely, lovely morning. It really is. Sun's out. Boat ahead. Um, we were moored just south of the lock and then um, saw the boat coming. Thought, right, let's go. So we share a lock. Or share, a lock. share a lock if you can. And we got there and there was two boats coming out of the lock, so that made it really easy. And as we left, there was one leaving. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for more. No. So we're heading for Western Lock, the next one, which we heard is very stiff and takes a bit of shifting. So it's quite handy. We've got two boats and four of us. That'd be nice. Uh, and we've heard that one in Leicester we got stuck in which was really, really hard and took seven blokes, well, seven people, including you, wasn't it, mm -hmm. uh, to move. It's now got restrictions on it. It's only open twice a week and you have to pre-book it. It's only open Tuesdays and Fridays and help is on hand. I'm not sure if that's an improvement or not. Anyway, we're heading off towards Burton. We're not going to get there today. We're going to have a lazy day. And uh, see how it's it goes. Up, wherever we feel like it. Yeah. There's a nice scene as we come through the bridge. Boat coming the other way. Obviously, there's one in front, and um, some cows having a drink. That's what you call a rural location, Linda. Hello, Moolies. 
There they are. They don't seem bothered by the boat, do they? No, not in the slightest. Probably seen a few. Quite small, some of them, aren't they? Yeah. So here we are at uh, Western Lock, and there's a queue. We haven't had that for a while. Queuing at the lock, I haven't had it for a long time. So there's two boats queuing to go in. There's at least one boat, possibly two, in the lock coming down. There's obviously us and the guy in front waiting to go as well. So, um, yeah, very busy. Makes a real change after maybe on the aero washers, just no boats around. In fact, on the Leicester Line too, in the store, there was so little boats around. Trent and Mersey, a bit busier. So there's two boats coming out. The other two going in. Very busy lock. We'll be able to get onto the uh, lock landing now, though, which will make it nicer. So, hope you'll get out of these reeds which we drifted into, and off we go. So we're in the lock, and uh, the paddles on the gates are really high up. You do not want to open them. And there's a, quite a queue. Quite surprising how big the queue is. The other side to get out. So as it slowly fills, and it is slowly. You can see the big queue of boats coming down, hoping to come down. It seems to go right round uh, the bend in the river. We'll have a little count as we go past. I mean, there's four come through as we were coming up. Two came past us and then two were in the lock. I'm not sure why he's coming down. We'll see. The lock's open. We're ready to go. And the this trouble boat, is neither of you can get this out. This boat opposite has come all the way down past the queue all down to the front and he's blocking and he's the cut. right at the front. He got right to the back. I mean, the, what, one boat couldn't have got out, let alone two. Yeah, he got right to the lock gate. So where are we supposed to go? She's going to have to, well, pull in at the front of the queue and upset everyone. Not the old days. Fight, fight, fight. Oi! Well, there's 13 boats queuing, as I can see. We're back around the bend. Um, that's handy for people queuing. Homemade cakes, hot drinks, hot dogs. Love it when you see little churches sneaking out of the countryside like that. Gone behind a hedge now. Well, it hasn't literally gone behind one. That's from our viewpoint. Um, yeah, look at that beautiful, beautiful church. Very, very nice. Enjoying the Trenton Mersey so far, very pleasant. So, the Trenton Mersey, Linda, yeah. so far, are we impressed? Well, apart from it's been very busy, that western lock, which was fine to get in and out of, but there was a queue both sides, about seven or eight boats, yeah, and then another two come along, coming down. There was 13 in the line, I said 13, then two more come, but when we got there, some were facing the other way, they were just moored up before the lock. So it's quite, quite a bit before the lock, I hate to so say. So it's quite confusing, wasn't and it? And there was cut, and we were two, and then another couple came after us. So it's, it's busy, but it is a beautiful valley. Really nice looking over. When I was at the lock looking over, it was fabulous, really lovely. I think once again, if we were going along here in rain and cold, having to get somewhere, we'd be moaning, oh, this is not much not, fun. Not we, I'm not having you say we moaning. You moaning, Mr. Moan ahead. I never moan. Mr. Grumpy. Anyway, there's um, quite a way to the next lock. Beautiful countryside. And we're going to... Tea on the brew? Tea What more could you want for? Biscuit. I mean, what, what, what you are. <laughs> so a tree fell into the cut. A great big piece floating across there. Obviously, it's been... Uh, shop to remove some of the stuff but there's a lot of branches and stuff everywhere. Well we're very much enjoying the uh, Trenton Mersey. Just views like this, that's not the best by a long chalk but miles and miles of beautiful views. I know the sunshine helps. Very very pleasant and Linda's just bought me lunch and a cup of tea. Does life get any better? Got all excited because there's a train line there. And it goes across that bridge. 
I was hoping we'd see a nice train. Preferably a goods train, my favourite. Yeah, I'm a geek. So just after that train bridge, we get to the lock. It's like quite a high one. And it's against us. But I think there might be somebody in it. Looks like it, isn't it? Yeah, so that might be good news. So after a long, long, sort of straight bit of beautiful countryside, we get to Stenson's Lock. And um, somebody had left it not long ago. The boat ahead was a bit quicker than us, and by the time we got here, the gates were open. So we're going to be stopping after here somewhere, aren't we? And have a look at the uh, shops. Or something or other. We're going to Mercia Marina and have a look round and moor up and have a nice, uh, lazy day. That'll be very nice. So Bridge 19, Stenson Lock. Morning, folks. Good morning. Well, Although, we actually, to tell you the truth, it's afternoon. Yeah. We it's stayed, rained all morning. We stayed in Willington last night, near Willington. We actually moored up beforehand to go to this shopping place, and it was zero internet. So we moved to Willington, the next village, didn't we? Yeah. And there was zero internet. Um, and, um, yeah, it rained all morning. And where we were, there was a lot of boats moored, both sides. And yet, boats were going past all night. I mean, all morning, really fast. And uh, pins were being pulled out. And three, we had three pins, because I thought it looked a bit dodgy here. But the big screwing ones. The middle one had been pulled out totally, but it was the loosest rope originally. And the others were on the way out. I mean, um, so slow down, people. Anyway, uh, we're off to Burton today. Beer town. Beer town, indeed. So we're not going to go far um, to in the next, well, this moment now. But what we did notice, or we did read in a book, interestingly, just give it a bit of speed. What we did notice is that the uh, gauge of the canal changes in Burton. We're in wide beam territory, and in uh, one lock's time, it becomes narrow gauge. Narrow gauge, you're talking railways. Like a narrow canal. So, um, yeah. That's, didn't know that happened on canals. Interesting. Well, we're on the outskirts of Burton on Trent. We've just used some services which uh, behind those buildings up there. You see that boat moored up just behind there. So we've emptied the uh, toilet cartridges and filled it with water. And um, there's a the lock coming up shortly where the canal goes from uh, wide beam width to this narrow boat. It becomes a narrow canal. And then the bridge after that, we're going to moor up for a supermarket. It was a Morrison's, get some provisions, and then we're stocked with everything we need. The uh, loot cart is empty, the water's full, we'll have lots of food and milk and stuff. We'll be set up for a few days. Um, Rain all morning, but we've got to go in this afternoon, do an hour, hour and a half. Um, probably have two done soon. So we're not going to have a massive journey today, but we've moved, got provisions, and uh, making progress. So here we go, from the Broad Canal into the narrow one. I don't really like the big Broad locks much, a lot of effort, a lot of water, and um, I'm glad to get back in these, I'm not sure how you load feel. Nice to be in Burton, there's some nice murals on the side. Really well done, isn't that nice? Not sure if it shows up in the light. And uh, yeah, there's lights a bit bad for showing, but you should be able to see. Some really nice murals, really. So, Shobnall Marina, I don't know how you say that. Shobnall. We're sort of in the centre of Burton. And you can tell we're in Burton because home of Marston's Pedigree, one of my favourite beers. I'm sure you all know, but Burton is the centre of British brewing and has been for a long time. Marston's Pedigree, so the brewery is just to the right, I think. Although you can't see much because it's all trees everywhere. Just for 
big town, industrial town. The um, canal's very picturesque and nice around here. Very pleasant. Well, we're just on the outskirts of Burton, um, having gone through most of it. Um, Lynn's gone shopping, there's a Morrison's up here to get some provisions. There's a proper mooring where we are now with, uh, you know, the easy to hitch to, nice and secure. And uh, so we're probably going to stay here for night. It's, it, we didn't start till well after one o'clock, I don't think it was. So, um, yeah, a, good, a few hours, got through Burton, got provisions, got everything we need. We'll have a nice pleasant night here. It's a tiny bit noisy uh, with road traffic at the moment. For that sort of time of the day, it's rush hour now, it'll calm down. And the uh, chap behind just put his Jenny on, but that won't last for long. So, uh, yeah, quite a little place. And in the narrow boat, you don't hear much anyway. It's just so well insulated. So, um, I think that's us done for today. Then the forecast for tomorrow and the day after is good. So, we'll have to make a nice early start and crack on.